if you are dealing with multiple tables for one single operations let's say if you are doing simple crud operation but that data if you want to store into two tables if you have one form student id student name and email along with this course name and course fee this data also if you want to insert this course and fee values if you want to insert into one table and student id name if you want to insert into one table these three properties if you want to insert into student table and these two properties if you want to insert into simple course table you may need to interact with 2dio classes cured you may need to interact with 2dio classes and you may require one business this business is one business right simple student registration one business method you may require here but dios for each table we have to write one one dio in case for one single use case if you want to talk with two dios must your business need to have capability of transactions business need to have transaction capability not dio dios can have local transactions here dios can apply local transactions but from here business need to apply global transactions means global it need to operate multiple dio classes from here itself locally local crud operations it can commit or it can roll back whenever you pass student data student data it can save or else it can roll back whenever you try to pass course data course dio may commit or roll back but from one business if you want to deal with two dios that commit or roll backs business need to do not dios in case if two insertions fails then business need to apply commit in case if one session one insertion fail business need to roll back the previous insertions okay so transaction capability business class required here in case if you want to do this type of crud operations for this type of use cases your business may require transaction support means here global transaction code you may need to write here you may require transactions for business you may require transactions here and if you want to apply security you may require security here after completion of transactions if you want to send mails you may require mail support and failover handling support if you want to provide you may require jms and if you want to fix timers you may require quad j support okay and the loggers if you want to track user information logger files you may require so these many services you may need to provide to your business for complex business operations so this services code we should not write inside business as per mvc services code also we need to write separately we need to follow standards here this services code separately we need to write under services layer we have to create one more layer service in that service you have to implement your services required transactions securities jms and mail services quad j services okay all the services separately we need to implement under services layer okay we can implement the services we know how to implement actually yeah i'll show you how to implement okay we can implement services by using spring api this spring api implemented services if you want to use for your business part means if you want to include along with your business execution code you should not include inside business on business execution you need to include this services execution also along with your business it should be part of your business but it should not in business code services need to execute along with your business through your business not only along inside your business like how business code executing in the same way services code also need to execute along with your business code let's say if it is high here if your business code is high and here if you have hello and how are you along with this hi hello and how are you also need to execute in case if user try to call so to combine that services code along with your business code here actually we should use aop using this aop you need to attach your services to aop and business also need to attach to the aop aop finally it will deliver proxies to the controller controller need to talk with proxy whenever it try to a proxy here by using that proxy whenever you try to call methods 
that method will execute business code along with your services code okay so now we are going to start aop here aspect oriented programming for what aspect oriented programming here if i have any services if i require to implement any services for my business that services i need to attach by using aop and the services also we need to implement by using aop and use cases sometimes your use cases may like this if you have business code here if you have business code here if you have business code here in business part security need to execute before businesses usually security need to execute before executing your business code if it is deposit code here before executing deposit code we need to check security here is that user is authenticated user or not he is manager or not he is cashier or not he is authenticated user or not who who need to do deposits if you go to bank clerk or manager or admin people but as a user customer can't able to deposit right directly so here role we need to check in case if you want to execute this code security need to allow that user when if that user is manager so security when it need to execute before your code so security kind of services may need to execute before your business code means along with your code you need to execute your services code but that services code may need to execute before your business code sometimes if you see transactions transaction need to start before and it need to end last so before your business it need to execute transactions after your business it need to commit or roll back your transactions so sometimes services may need to start before your code end after your code and if you see jms in case of exceptions here if code throws any exception if it is saturday or sunday while doing fund transfer it used to keep data into jms queues or topics so here what actually they used to do throws day not support exception from monday to friday it is possible to do fund transfers if you try to do on saturdays or sundays that fund transfers will not become success and fund transfer it will not make success it will internally business code will throws exception but instead of failing your code what actually they used to do whatever the parameters you want to execute that parameters they will keep under jms later they will talk with tables so to put this data whatever the data we have here to put that data into jms queues when it need to execute the jms when it throws exceptions so sometimes your service may need to execute for exceptions exceptions usually not before i mean before business code will not get exceptions when will get exceptions after business code only so exceptions will execute after and mailing services while doing fund transfer if fund transfer is success after and the quad services timers if you want to fix a time in the time interval continuously if you want to execute your business so then you may need to start with start in start business i mean quad services may need to execute before your business so a service may need to execute before a service may need to execute sometimes before and after sometimes your service may need to execute only after sometimes it may need to execute in case of exceptions so in aop to implement such type of services here they given interfaces in case if you want to implement a service before if you want to implement a service before then here they given one interface method before advice if you want to implement a service after here they given after returning advice it will execute after in case if you want to execute around around if you want to execute here they given method interceptor method interceptor it will execute before and as well as after in case of exceptions while exceptions while exceptions if you want to execute in case of exceptions throws 
advice <coughs> so here it may execute before in case if you required only after in case if you required before and after in case of exceptions if you want to execute while exceptions throws advice by using this interfaces you need to implement your classes the services classes so here security transaction may need to execute before and after so to implement a transaction service which interface we need to use here method interceptor around if you want to execute anything implement method interceptor so by using method interceptor you need to implement transactions and security only before method before advice method before advice you may need to implement for jms in case of exceptions that service may need to execute so that service we need to implement by using throws advice and sometimes your service may need to execute mailing service after 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 returning advice and quadge services may need to execute before again method before advice so to implement your services they given interfaces here to execute a service business i mean to execute a service before your business they given one interface method before advice to execute after your business after returning advice to execute in case of exceptions throws advice to execute service before and as well as after they given method interceptor you can call all these are you can call all these as advices 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 spring advices classes aop advices classes we have four method before advice after returning advice method interceptor throws advice four advice classes for what these advice classes to implement services advices are for services to implement services where we have to use advices just to implement services and to add this advices code along with your business code at run time it need to combined along with your business code service code who will combined at run time business code and service code aop actually who will do that job if i do that kind of job here you can call this one as a <coughs> proxies right proxies so here aop given one proxy in aop they given proxy class proxy class the proxy class name is to mix that business code and your services code they given proxies here they given proxy class the proxy class name is proxy factory <coughs> bin the class name is proxy factory bin by using this proxy factory bin you need to combine the business code along with services code at run time not at compilation your code should be separate but at run time along with your business services also need to execute before your code sometimes it may execute after your code it may execute sometimes it may execute only after sometimes it may execute at time at the time of exceptions so here proxies we have to use the proxy name is proxy factory bin pfb by using proxy factory bin we can combine services code along with our business finally what it will return here a business proxy in case of lookup method dependency injection and method replacer concepts actually spring it used to implement its own proxies right it will implement proxies but to override existing method implementations without having java code also implemented right in that case it will generate proxies right that proxies are actual class child classes so here this proxy factory bin will generate a proxy that proxy class is child for business in that proxy along with your business code it will combine services code so finally that proxy it will release to controller but here controller layer developer what he used to thought that object is simple business object whenever you try to call your business code here along with your business code it will execute services code also so here actual dependency injection we have to do like this if it is hibernate first we have to create data source the next we have to create session factory session factory need to inject into 
Hibernate template. Hibernate template need to inject into <coughs> DAOs. DAOs need to inject into business. business by using implementation interface model. And business object need to inject into <coughs> proxies. Services need to inject into <coughs> proxies. Finally, proxy will deliver that object to <coughs> controller. In this controller, what we have to use? Business interface is enough. Into this business interface, proxy generated proxy implementation class you can pass to this controller then whenever you try to call by using this interface reference if you call a method that method will call your business along with business it will execute services and this business will call DAO DAO will interact with finally database okay